Hi Pisces, this is your channel messages for the 20th of September. Pisces, your channel message is... Damn baby, I just don't understand where we went wrong. I gave you my heart, I gave you my soul, I gave you, I gave you everything. Then in fact, I was the one who said, I love you first. It was about eight years ago. Don't act like you don't know. We were sitting home in your mama's living room. Now, ooh, good. And your mama knew it's something you should never feel. Back then we were in school. It was fair excuse. Grew up, I was a fool. And I cannot miss you. Listen and don't trip. I think me and a father with the genie in it is my wish. I would do it a part of changing for love. I would take yours and fill it all up But I don't need a lot of wishes Cause I'd be okay If I If I had one wish You'd be my boo Promise to love you Trust me, I trust If I had one wish Give you my life, gave you my whole life. Come and see. If I had one wish, 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 one wish. Wow. I feel like somebody wants one wish. If they had one wish, you would be best friends, hugging and love and home sleep. If you had one wish, you be my boo. Promise and love you. Trust me and tr yo, <laughs> listen. Ray J might be toxic, but he sang fucking bangers. Okay, so I'm getting Pisces. You need one wish. Just, I just want one. You want one wish. Make sure you use the wishes well and make sure you ask Google or chat GPT to help you um, write a description for this wish. Because I feel like maybe you had a genie and a genie granted a wish, but you didn't, you didn't structure the wish properly. You here talking about immigrants cannot speak English. Here you were wasting your fucking wish. What did you wish for? You wish for the love of your life, you get the love of your life. You did not say that you want the love of your life to stay with you. You say, I wish I had a million dollars. You get the million dollar, yeah. But now you end up in a one car crash and you have to spend off the whole million. I'm getting you got a genie and a genie said, give me one, I'll grant you one wish. And you say, yeah, give me the wish. And I'm getting your wish turned into someone else's wish. I'm getting recyclable wishes. You wish for one wife. You wish for somebody to stay by your side. I wish for my wife and she will love me and stay by my side. And you get the wife or love you and stay by your side, but then you get bored. So you abandon the wife. So what you expect for happen? You think the wife was going to be there um, after you come back? Me getting you get a wish and you waste it. Or this could be, you don't need a lot of wishes, got with. Or it could be. And if I had one wish, okay, let's go ahead and go into your reading. I feel like you have one wish. You have one fucking wish. Speaking of wishes, um, so I was reading the other day that they had passed a bill called the Crown Act. The natural here, it's called the Crown Act, and it's usually it's implemented for this non-discrimination against natural here in the workplace. So yes, a white Becky, Becky with the good hair, decided that listen, yes, I have good hair, but everybody deserves to have good hair. So Becky with the good hair decided to help the initiative to pass in America something that's called the Crown Act, which basically protects people from minority communities or from communities of a big diaspora to be able to wear their natural hair in any single style in the workplace without facing discrimination that's how big it gotten and i noticed <laughs> listen to me i was watching the the vlogger the russian vlogger the one who love just up like a girl i am watching him and it seemed like it seems like men like how man looking at one wig 
this is how it seems, right? And I'll be damned if you're going to tell me I look better with a wig on the fuck. If, if this guy is dressing up as a girl and he's fuckable, um, you ain't go, you, you, you can get your soft life, white man soft life. You can get that wearing bagged wigs. But remember, men are fucking men in wigs too. So I'm just saying, um, if, if a man is more acceptable being fucked in a wig, you are. So don't believe that that man really likes you, sweetie. The wig is... The wig is more acceptable for him and him friends. I'll be fucking damn before I put on a fucking wig. Yeah, I'll be fucking damn. I'll be fucking damn before I put... But no, I never would wear one. Because you don't know sometimes this is the life. This is the life. This is the life. The, 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 the reality show will lick you and you want to put on something to make your hair look nice. But I'll be fucking damn if I'll be rocking a fucking um, something to hair. If I'll be wa rocking fucking synthetic hair, if I'll be rocking some Indian bitch here who decided that she was going to shave her head and give it to a motherfucking god, and now it's on a Jamaican's girl fucking head. I'll be fucking damned. So, um, yeah, the crown act that is now past people. So if your boss is telling you, oh, your hair don't look acceptable, or your boss will tell you, mm, don't you think it's better to put on a wig? Ask him. Don't you think it's better to give that woman a divorce and stop making her fuck the neighbors? Because that first kid ain't yours. So I guess we both have something we did not see coming, don't we, right? That's another reason of my many, many reasons of not being employed to this moment, me here. Apparently, me not put on no wig, I me not put no weave night, and me not braid it. So, c'est un problem, oui. C'est un problem pour la personne qui a le chevou straight, a le chevou bon, curly, and for people who don't have no ear. So usually for the women, it's more acceptable to shave off your head. You notice? It's more acceptable for the women to just go bald. And then after, right after you go bald, you die, blonde. You fucking idiot. You fucking stupid ass MK Ultra fucking puppet. After you take off the hair while God did give you, you fuck up your ear for putting hair in your hair. And after you fuck it up so much and you decide to chop off your head and God said, I'll give you one new beginning, you bleach it. Like a fucking MK Ultra sex kitten. You, be, you bleach it and it, it ain't even on the hair on it yet. The little hair them just like when you just you just wipe that out. You, you bleach that with volume 40 and what the fuck else. And you bleach out the whole of that blood clot here so you could have gold. Or could have bronze or whatever the fuck it is. Right? Like a real fucking puppet. So. I don't know if that's something you're facing. Do you feel like you want to go natural? You feel like you don't want to go natural? You hate your natural hair? You want to put it in here? Do whatever makes you feel comfortable. But all I'm saying is, um, no nigga asked you to put that helmet on your head. You should know this. The helmet now fuck him. The helmet now suck him dick. And the helmet is not going to be the one that says, baby, you want a back massage? So let me just say that to you, girls. Girls, you don't have to be insecure. Them just pass a bill, it called a crown act. No, just because the bill passed don't mean that it's going to be implemented in workplaces. But um, I am a proud, proud believer of um, how me wear me hair is how me hair grow. And I'm not saying that we all of us was walk around with afros like he's 1969 and we're fucking fighting for freedom. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is that um, you need to understand that not everybody here is the same. Not everybody want to put on a wig. Not everybody want to put um, shh in them here. Not, not everybody want to be a white woman. You should know that. Some of us want to be Beyonce in Hold up, you don't love me like I love you, right? Brown skin girl, your skin just like pearls all over the world like so some of we like to rock what it is that the inches that god give us so if a workplace are telling me say ma'am you have to take that out to your ear like it's fucking school ma'am we don't like how your hair look it don't look presentable ma'am you don't feel like it's better sir you don't feel like it better for go suck out your blood clot mother this is why i'm unemployed scarborough and i hope you know that even if i was unemployed i usually um give the best customer service ever i go beyond and and without a reasonable doubt, I will go beyond for my patients, especially when it comes on to the pharmaceutical industry. If we don't have it, we usually source it for you. So it's not that you're going to come into um, a workplace that I work and you're going to be greeted by bumble clot. That's not how it's going to go. But I don't take disrespect in the workplace because we're all adults. You don't like how my ear grows on my head. Okay, sir, I don't like how your nose look. 
so 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 what the fuck what are we gonna do about it what are we what are we gonna do about it we don't know but women remember there's something called a natural crown act now i'm not saying that you're going to use this in the face of your oppressors but i am just saying um you have the chance to do what you want do you hear they can make your boss while you make your boss tired you out upon the work and I do more work than you're getting paid for now i'm going to tell you say oh you're here ugly tell him say the head i'm blood clot dick ugly that's why he don't know what it is like to get him dick suck and come at the blood, same blood clot time because anybody who sees his dick it have to wrap up in a one blood clot condom nobody wants that dick to touch them raw not even their fucking lips anyways let's go ahead and go into your reading i want will a lot of wishes because i be okay if i get one if i have one wish be, be best friends okay if i had one wish we would be best friends if I had one wish, it would to be fall, to fall in love with my best friend. No, I don't really have a best friend. You know what I mean? Like, okay, like what Ray J said. If I had one wish, we'd be best friends. Okay, so we're talking about lovers. We're talking about a lover. My wish would be to fall in love with my best friend. It would be to fall in love with somebody who understands you on a friendship level, on a best friend level, and now they want to take on the responsibility of, of, of managing your emotions, right? You, sh you should fall in love with somebody you consider your best friend. You should fall in love with the person who is always being there for you. You should fall in love with that. You shouldn't want to say, oh, I don't like this relationship. It, it feels too best friendly. I saw it for fucking feel. You know how it feel when you're with somebody who just find it sexually attractive and you're living at the same house with them? They're going to fuck other bitches. That's what the fuck is going to happen. You need to be with your best friend or be with somebody a man be with a woman you considered oh my god this is my ride and die if anything ever happened to me i'm gonna call this person that is who you're supposed to be with you don't you don't try to find a try a nigga for take on your emotional responsibilities if you find somebody who has been your friend for a long time and they're like listen i've seen you in the ugliest state i've seen you in the prettiest state and i've seen you with other people and how them treat you why we not be together i don't understand why you're saying no girls sometimes what is good for us is not what we want because what we want is what we see online those niggas online ain't go wake you up in bed with breakfast they ain't gonna buy you motherfucking roses they ain't gonna ask you if you want a foot rub in the morning and they're not going to be a sim for you the man them online will not do that so if you want a rich nigga eight figure with a gun loaded you can go to the streets for that otherwise i would hope you find a love of your life that loves you as much as a best friend does let's go so women if you do have a man best friend and you have a man or you have a man best friend and you're dating here by your door it's time to grow the fuck up woman um you need to give that guy a chance give him a chance first if it fuck up it fuck up but it can't be more fucked up than your guy best friend liking and watching you going out with other men. That's fucked up. And he's still being there for you. Some of the niggas that you're giving your pussy to aren't there for you. But the man best friend who will watch you. Your girl best friend who will watch you get dog. She will watch you go through everything. Every time you cry and complain, she is there to hear you. He is there to hear you. Why you never deal with them? He's not my type. Is your type abuse? He's not my type. Oh, your type is nice guys who treat you like garbage. What the fuck is your type? Cause you have a nigga or you have a bitch here who willing for break a nigga's face for you but uh i don't like it because it's too familiar it's supposed to be familiar bitch let's go ahead and go into your reading i'm telling you what is good for you i'm not telling you to what you need debt so maybe there's a total change i gotta think i don't know there's a total different spiritual transformation going on i'm also getting something about a scarpio you want a Scorpio death card till death do us part? I don't see no two people rock harder than two best friends. People talk about, yeah, I want my bunny to my cloud. I want my bitch to stand by me. The bitch ain't standing by you, especially when you get locked the fuck up. Hopefully the bitch is looking at police officer who locked you the fuck up. She wants to know what it feels like with fucking handcuffs behind her. I, I never felt that before. But maybe you want to feel like what handcuffs feel behind you while you're getting it from the back right this could be something you're interested in otherwise till that do us part i only hear best friends do that Missy best friend get matching talk to more than couples what's so significant about the best friend holding on to you why a man can't i i wish that you fall in love with your best friend i wish that i wish that your best friend's the opposite sex and if it's the same sex okay do you sweetie i ain't gonna tell you who god's supposed to be choosing for you okay i hear a business 
maybe that's something you're considering oh my god i like this guy but i don't want to fuck it up because if i pass this if i pass this little initial stage um they're going to know i like them and i'm going to fuck up the relationship sweetie your dad fucked up the relationship fucking on your mom it's okay you can take a chance with your best friend girl if she love you she will say okay my understand your lima but me don't really like it that way and she will still be your best friend because girls are very attached that's why they always hang around man as best friend because they're attached so I'm just saying, women, maybe it's time to give these best friends slash sims slash beta males. Because, come on, you you watching the girl you love getting by another nigga and you just stand there being like, I hope he don't hurt you. What the fuck is wrong with you, girl? right? But maybe I don't want to mash up the relationship. you rather have her as a friend than not have her as all. You're thinking like a loser. That's what the fuck you're thinking like. You're thinking like a loser. You need to take that chance. Take the chance with her. If she tell you no, say bitch, I, I, that's why I, that's why the man them a blood clot fuck you and left you. <laughs> if she say, but we're friends though, say your friends don't, that's why the man gonna fuck you and left you and breed you and your career got blood clot done, right? Anytime she say, but we're friends though. She never even blood clot try. But your, your friends though, your friends though, Tyler, I love you and you have the sexiest body in Hollywood and I feel like every white man I produce a love in Hollywood, Tyler. But, um... First of all, Tyler, Kai, you should know that Tyler couldn't even date you because you got a no girl rule. You know that, right? No girl, you can't date with no girl right now, Kai. Kai, Speed, Aidan Ross, you can't have girls, friends. You don't know that, right? So, uh, I don't know, Kyla, Tyler didn't mean to style you, but it's not like you could date her if you wanted to. Sorry, you don't have that freedom. You're under contract, sir. Remember that. And you're in a club with five other men, sir. You see the time when Kai called the police for the other friend them because the other friend them in the other room having a party and never invite Kai, even though... And Kai, you need to understand that's why you're not invited to... Even though you're in a one... What your name? M MPG? I don't know what your name. Even though you're in a one group, I'm getting that's why the group is together and you're not because you're the biggest one out of it. Remember the whole group has tried to start a vibe for have as much following as you, Kai. That's why you don't get invited anywhere. That's why you are the odd friend out even though you're a part of a team. The man them behind your back, them chat you. The only person I kind of trust from Kai Camp is the, the Rasta guy, Drew. Drew, Drew, I don't know him name. The Rasta one, not Kai, the other one was tall. Drew, something him name. So Kai, you're the biggest. That's why you're excluded. That's why the people him have the party next door and not call you. Because um you you're the biggest. Him have a, the other the Juski one, the guy, I trust him and maybe kinda of phantom, the fat one, I like him, I really like him. The fat one I always I eat, I really like him. Only them two them I trust. Me not trust the others. And Kai, please, please remember, even though you're coming from a team and you're the biggest, your friend them will sacrifice out your blood clot. You hear me tell you? Anyways, Kyla couldn't even date you if she wanted to. You have a no girl rule. And even if you bring girl over you. Also, you have this ratchet ass girl who you call one bitch and she'll lick you, lick you up and she'll lick up Ray. I know, I know for kids it's very fun. Although Kai act like a 17 year old, I'll be honest. For kids it's very fun for like karate and whatever, whatever. Kai, nigga, you the nigga right now. You can't make the girl talk to you, so. Oh, you calling me a bitch? Pow, pow, pow. Kai, tell the girl for go on. She obviously like you, she's very thirsty for you. And I know that sometimes when girls are very immature, they will hit and bully guys with them like, Kai, get that bitch out of your circle, fam. You, you, you're too much of a big ass to have that bitch talking to you that way. I don't care, you can call any nigga you want. You can call any girl you want, bitch. Not that you should, but you is Kai Senat. This girl where you have around you, this ratchet ass, get a girl who loud as fuck. Yeah, where you, you probably will fuck her, but you're not gonna do with her and you never blood clot, Cleomar. Um, yeah, she need to go. She fucking up the... I don't like how she talk to you, I mean, I like how she talk to Ray either. She's too aggressive. Let her the fuck go. Also, if Kyla didn't want, Tyler, Tyler couldn't be with you. You have a no girl rule, you know that? That's why you're the biggest, because you ain't been fucking girls. Also, Kyle look like him have a huge ass dick. I saw him sitting down one time, and I don't know why my eye went there. Kai has a huge ass dick. So, Tyler wouldn't even want to have sex with you. You're going to break her fucking awkward, right? But other than that fact, Kai, you can't date no woman now. You can't end in a relationship. You never know that? And if you do, um, your team, I go fuck it up. That's why you're so successful, because no girl never be the shit. Now that you're on top, every girl I go run in now. 
Also, for the fact that um, if the girl said, but we're friends, though, say nothing. Say, I hope the man breathe down blood clot left here, but we're friends, though. I won't lie. Kai have a lot more money than these rappers in Hollywood. No, me just wants to the guy, the guy who Tyler got be with. She tell Kai, no, that is fine, ma'am. Your body, your choice, and your body is a 10, so you have 10 out of 10 choices, Tyler. Me want to say, which man you got there with in Hollywood. Make another no blood clot, sewage rat. Make another no fucking sewage rat. Make a somebody who did lower than Kai. And I say, see you, this is why the girl, this is why the man them have the formula how for fuck the girl in the ass with a straw. Cause we're not fucking better. We don't fucking better. Kai don't seem like a cheater to me. Anyways, death is coming. So me getting you need for deal with your best friend. Who is your best friend? You need to deal with that. The person who will be there for you in your times of struggle. Because sometimes best friend nicer than boyfriend. But not lie. It's better. You had a best friend who you program. So I don't know if you're starting a new endeavor with your best friend. PhD. Is your best friend a doctor? Enemy. Death and enemy. And fuck them all. There might be something about a doctor, something about them why you see a doctor, or you have to do some, some type of skit with a doctor. What them why you do? STD testing? I said, them keep a force me for the STD testing here. For what? what? Aren't you supposed to be using a condom? Why you forcing me for the STD testing here? Why you want morale? I'm tell you, you feel like you're in love. I've been there before. We go to Montreal on a tour. He said, him want to feel it, be back. I said, no. <laughs> make another gal breed for you, right? Fuck them all on PhD. So which doctor? Which doctor you have to tell for fuck off? I mean, I know you soon hear about Kai or someone else is experiencing psychological mental instability. Them soon say you're mad. Because you haven't went through your initiation, Kai. Neither did Tyler. But we're friends though. Me I start fuck my friend them. Don't my friend, not friend them. Oof. Sorry about that, YouTube. We have the King of Swords. We have a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius man. He's clarifying program. So I don't know what he's filming. Or me getting this man me getting somebody who's usually behind the scenes, them have to come in front of the camera now for clarify something. Fuck them all is a magician. The death card is a five of wands. Me getting a huge brawl in our fight. Me getting some this cancer. Me getting something this Libra Gemini Aquarius man did or say. No more kind of want to feel like somebody cast a spell. Or somebody did something from a fake account. I me getting everybody a fight over here so. Because of what this person did from a fake account. The enemy is a nine of cups. But also getting something about you talking shit about somebody else's child. PhD is a star card door. Me getting a celebrity doctor or a celebrity sexologist. That could be PhD while her clothes off. She's a sexologist. Now going back to the first message. I don't need a lot of wishes because I be okay if I get one. If I had one wish, somebody if somebody had one wish. Did somebody ask you a long time ago what your wish was? Because I remember two years ago before before me this thought I was reading terror but I I was reading and I was just just starting my other channel but it wasn't as far as this and I met a Sagittarius I'm gonna sit down with the Sagittarius I'm just a talk but he like him you know but I'm not, not tell him I like him I'm still gonna talk to him and him look at me and him say if you could do one thing for the rest of your life what would it do what it would it be I'm going to say, mother read tarot. Mother be a spiritual practitioner. Mother read tarot. Mother convert the tarot into motivational speaking. Like me, I tell him everything and him say, okay. And I won't lie. For some reason, I don't know. But I feel like the Sagittarius is kind of... The spell work can help me grant the wish. Because the way him asked me, and he was a younger guy. The guy was younger than me. He said, if you could have done one thing for the rest of your life, what would it do? And you'd be happy. I'm going to say, mother read tarot. Before me even it started doing this, I said that to him. And he look at me and I so. I just look through the window. And I, I don't know, I kind of want to say, if him did do magic, if him did know about magic, I feel like him, him asked me that forgive me what I wanted. I don't know why I said, I don't know why I felt that way. But PhD and the star. Because you're, you're the star. 
and even though our clothes, we're getting a celebrity doctor or we're getting a healer. Now, you could be into Renki healing, you can work with crystals, frequency, massage, lights, and sound. Maybe that's what you're going to do. Come at me. I already, I already know about these things. I have been looking into the footsteps of there's another guy named Carby, him is a doctor, he deals with chromotherapy, light therapy. You use light to help certain sicknesses, but don't study the light them already. So I know about the light them, I know about the aromatherapy, I know a little bit about the massage them, I know about the frequency. So you, you come into my practice fucked up, unreliable, so sad, so depressed, so suicide, right? You come into practice after a few lights, colored lights is shine on your frequency and a nice deep tissue massage, you'll come out thinking that you're the best fucking husband ever, right? And you're not married to me. Me getting something about Renki healing. Maybe you work with energy. Me getting hydromancy too. Something about hydromancy. You know about hydromancy? Fuck them all. Now again, unless this is a doctor, me getting someone's like, I don't need a lot of wishes. Somebody want to be with you. Now, me don't know if you have a fucked up reputation. I don't know if you're formerly known for doing something and then you decided to venture into something else. So the reputation I carry. But me getting either way, you have PhD. Me getting something like a sexologist. So I don't know if you know how to do it right or you're teaching this Gemini Libra queerest man how to do it. But me getting him is like, you know what? Fuck all of this. Because I'm, I'm getting, I'm, I'm here you saying that what, what would be the significant, if, if somebody like to take off them clothes but they have a doctorate, wouldn't that be the equivalent? Some people afraid to be intimate but them have a doctorate. Some people don't have a doctorate but them fucky fucky. Wouldn't that be a contradiction or wouldn't that say a lot about the person? That your, your mental prowess can go as far as, I guess, you taking off your clothes? How is it that the two can exist at the same time? How is it that we can have a, a, a doctor porn star? How is it? And why would you want to be a porn star if you was a doctor? Why would you tell people you're a doctor if you know how for fuck? I'm getting some type of contradiction like that. But I'm getting you're saying, I don't care, I want it. You don't have a lot of wishes, but you're going to wish for your archetype. Where you probably don't think that you'd ever pick up in your life. I'm getting you want it though. I'm getting a lot of people want it. But you're going to get it. I'm going to leave it here. Until next time, bye.